In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement attribute-based access control in Starburst Galaxy. To illustrate this, I'm going to imagine a scenario where I have tables containing sensitive information about my customers, such as their last name, phone number, and social security number. We call this Personally Identifiable Information, or PII, and I want to restrict the users that have access to this information. The first thing I'm going to do is create a few tags that I will then attach to the PII columns. Afterwards, I can create some policies around those tags to restrict access to the tagged columns. Let's get started. To navigate to the Tags panel, I can click to expand access control on the left-hand side, and then scroll down and find tags. I'm going to click Create Tag, and I'm going to create the PII tag first. So I'll name it PII, and I'll add a quick description. You can choose any color that you'd like to identify the tag, and I'm going to choose red. So create tag. Next, I'm going to create two nested tags under my PII tag. One of them is going to be for phone number, and the other is going to be for social security number. So let's do the phone number first. So I'll call this phone. And then I'm going to check the box for a nested tag under, because I want it nested under my PII tag. And I'll add a description. I'll choose red again and then click create tag. Now let's go ahead and create the last one, which is the social security number. And I'm gonna nest that one again under PII. And I'll choose red again and click create tag. So I finished creating my tags. And if I click this button to expand the list here, you can see the two nested tags under that initial PII tag. Now let's go ahead and assign the tags to tables. The table that contains the sensitive columns is in my Lakehouse Burst Bank Catalog and Burst Bank Schema. So I can get to that by going over to my Catalog Explorer. And I'm going to expand my Lakehouse Burst Bank Catalog. And then I'll expand the Burst Bank Schema. And the table that I'm looking for is Customer, so I'm going to click on that one. And now you can see I have a list of the columns here. This table has a lot of columns, so to find the columns that I'm looking for, I need to go over here and click the page over arrow. So let's do the phone column first. You can see there are no tags assigned, so I'm going to click the plus to add a tag, and I'm going to add that PII.phone tag. So I'll click Save Changes, and now you can see that the tag has appeared in the list. Let's do the Social Security number next. I'll click the plus sign again, and then I'll click PII.SSN and save changes. And then the last thing I want to do is tag the last name column with the upper level PII tag. So I have to go back to the first page of columns for that. And here's my last name. And I'm going to add the PII tag. OK, all my tags have been assigned to the appropriate columns. Now I'm going to create a role that will have a policy associated with it to deny access to the PII columns. I'll go to Roles and Privileges, and then Add Role. And I'm going to call this one Deny underscore PII. I'll add a quick description. And I'm going to click Add Role. Now let's go to the Information page for that role. And I'm going to go to the Policies tab so that I can add a policy to deny access. So I'm going to click the Add Policy button. I'll call this policy Deny underscore PII as well and I'll give it a description. Under Scope, I'm going to choose the catalog that the table came from, and that was the Lakehouse Burst Bank catalog. And I want all schemas here. For the matching expression, I'm going to type has underscore tag and in parentheses PII dot asterisk. The asterisk after the PII means that any tag that is nested under the PII will be matched. This also means, however, that the higher level PII tag will not be matched, which you'll see when I test this. So now I'm going to scroll down here and I want to click the plus to add privileges. And what do I want to do? I want to deny the privilege to select from table. And this is where I could add row filters and column masks as well if I wanted, but I'm not going to do that right now. So I'll just click the create policy button. And now the policy has been added. Now this deny PII role will not be able to access the phone or social security number columns in the customer table. I have an already existing marketing role that I'd like to apply this restriction to as well, and I can do that by adding the deny PII role to the marketing role. So let's do that now. I'm going to go back to roles and privileges, and I'm going to click on the marketing role. And then I'm going to click on roles 
and assign role. So I'll choose my deny PII role and notice the warning that comes up, letting me know that the deny privileges are going to override any allows in place, which is what I want, so that's good. So I'm gonna click assign role here. Let's go ahead and test the policies I just put in place by running a few queries. I'll start by running the queries under the account admin role so that you can see all of the columns. I'm going to run two queries simultaneously, one that selects all columns from the customer table and another that only selects the last name, phone, and social security numbers from the customer table. So let's go over to the query editor. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've selected the appropriate cluster, catalog, and schema at the top here. I've pasted in my two queries, and now I can click here and change this to run all limit 1000 and then click that button. Now let's check out the results. For the first query, which was selecting all columns, you can see that all columns were returned. See the social security number is there. We can see the phone number. And then we can also see the last name. And if I go to the second SQL statement, which just selected the last name, phone, and social security number, you can see that all three of those were returned as well. So no problems there because I am using the account admin role. But let's see what happens if I go to the marketing role instead. So I'm going to switch my role. And let's try to run both of these again and see what happens. OK, so let's start with the first SQL statement. Now, once again, this did run successfully because I selected all columns. But if you look, you can see that we are missing the phone number and we are missing the social security number. So those were omitted because that's what I had set the policy to do. But you can also notice that the last name was not omitted because of the matching expression that I had used. It did not include that upper level PII tag. And if I go to the second SQL statement, results here, you can see access denied because I was trying to select on columns that I do not have access to. So a little bit of a different result there. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.